you poach guys at all in general? I do. You do? <laughs> like my last boyfriend, I said you met a random stranger on the plane. Did you have yeah. communications before? Yeah. Just on the plane and then he became your boyfriend? Yeah. Uh, three pole dance. Pole dance, you get me? We work it. Doing it around the pole now. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming. Still with this one? Yeah. It's been, it's new, isn't it? It's very new. Yeah. Very new. How long? Like three months. Three months. Don't you just love that three month mark? I'd love to be in a little fresh three month relationship. <laughs> it's so fun and vibrant. Mm. How's it going? Oh, it's going well. Like, I'm happy. Good. Do you see a lot of each other? Um, like once a week. He doesn't live in this country, but he comes What? Yeah. What? It's a long <laughs> distance one. Um, it's not, I won't call it long distance because he comes to London like every weekend. Where does he live? Switzerland. Switzerland? How did you meet him? In London, at, um, at a bar. At a bar. So was it just a one-time meet? So you in a bar once and you met him, or yeah, was it? Yeah. Do you see each other all no, the time no, no, in this just, bar? Just because I don't really go to that bar, mm. um, and and just met him there. He approached me, and that was it. Is it? And then now you're together. Why is he in London every weekend? Um, he's got like more friends in London. Mm -hmm. There's not much to do um, in Switzerland on the weekend. Is he from London or from Switzerland? Well, he's from Nigeria. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's in Switzerland? Yeah, working. Working? Yeah. Working. No, working, yeah. no I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he working no, as? Like I'm trading. being nosy. Trading. Trading? Okay, like, all, keep it all vague. Do <laughs> you feel comfortable with him being so far away? Like, yeah, yeah. Totally? Yeah. Do you, would you ever feel like you need to like look at his phone or do you look oh, at his phone? Yeah. Have you I ever done that? I've done that in the past where I've been like insecure, mm. but I don't feel insecure like that anymore, so I don't feel the need to. Mm. If someone says something to me, I'll just take it as truth, and if you lie to me, then that's what I need to stop. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you, girl. So, you say you've gone through phones in, in the past. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, what made you do that? What happened? Do you know what? I was never that person to go on phones, mm. but then I got with someone who was that person, so yeah. all of a sudden I became that person as well. Yeah. So I was like, okay, if you want to look at my phone, I have to look at yours then. Yeah, it was kind of like matching their yeah. behaviour sort yeah. of thing. And obviously I thought that was normal, but it's not. I don't think it's normal. No, it's not. It's not normal. But don't you think now, I mean, back in the day, if you did that, it was more like a paranoia situation. But now, with all these social medias, all these different sites, all these different points of contact, do you not feel like now it could be kind of more normal to do it? Or I don't think not? it's ever normal. Like, you should be with someone that you trust. Mm. If you feel like you have a reason to check their phone, mm. you shouldn't be with them because... I feel like if you look for something, you'll find it, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I agree with, but do you not think that because of today's society, the amount that social media and internet plays in our life, do you think that should be slightly amended? I'm not saying, oh my God, go hunt hunting through his phone, but don't you think that the rules are slightly changed because the society and the way we communicate are slightly changed? I feel like that's society, but the kind of person that I'm with, they're not, like, I, I don't have a reason to look at their phone because I shouldn't be worried well, about this anything. guy right now. This guy right now, I'm not. Okay, but well, what about just in general, in general, in a, your opinion on that matter in general? No, but in general, I want to be with someone where I wouldn't have to feel like I'm looking at their phone. I wouldn't mm, have to feel mm. like I need to. I don't feel like you can compare a relationship from, like, the past because we didn't have all that in the past. Now it plays a point. So do you automatically become a paranoid, schizophrenic and insecure if you want to check all these thousands of avenues or you want, you're concerned about all these thousands of avenues that didn't even exist before. So how can you say whether it's right or wrong because it did not exist? Do you get what I mean? Yeah, but you should just look to the type of person that you're with. Like, mm -hmm. I myself, I'm not big on social media. Mm -hmm. So I do, I prefer someone who's not. 
and yeah. the person that I'm with like has no social media anyway so it's not even a concern of mine yeah so if that makes it easier it, like, yeah I don't I can't put myself in that position I don't think I care mm -hmm. are you both like really clear on where you stand in the relationship do you think like it's clear between the two of you what what it is and do you think it is it you know you're in love as you told you loves you and is it is it all of that um, I'm not that emotional mm -hmm. with people in general like if my friends like my friends tell me they love me and then sometimes I don't really know how to respond but it's not because like I don't love them mm. but it's kind of not really how I've been brought up like mm. my household wasn't like oh my god love you all the time so yeah for me it's just still a bit weird sometimes when people say it mm. um so in terms of like I love you like I don't feel like saying it is that necessary before I get into something I just want to make sure that it's just me and that person so I want to make sure it's exclusive that they're just not ever going to take me for a mug yeah and that's what you've done with the relationship with you and yeah, now yeah. do you tell each other you love each other no it hasn't happened yet no. I'm thinking if you're exclusive then that's got to come no I mean I don't have to tell you I love you to mm. for you to know but I know obviously some people like need they, to hear they it they need to hear it but Luckily, I'm with someone who doesn't need to hear it and I don't really care about hearing it myself either. Oh, really? So it's fine. Like yeah. my last relationship, we probably said it a bit more, but mm. even still, like, mm. I don't know, say it once and then I kind of run with that and like, okay, you love me. Yeah. So you're gonna keep loving me. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you ever had a bad experience with relationships? Like have you ever been cheated on or like any of that sort of stuff? Would you say your partner kissing someone else is cheating? Because I would, personally. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're in a relationship, was you in a relationship at the time when yeah. you was like boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah. And then you kiss somebody else? Yeah. And then what happened? Well, I don't know. Like, oh, <laughs> like, I'm like really forgiving and sometimes I'm quite naive and yeah. just idiot, but like, I accept people when they apologise to me and I just hope that they don't do things again. Oh, <laughs> oh my baby girl. Yeah. Like, whatever. Okay. But, yeah. You know when you're like, don't know where, where you stand with a guy, where you've been seeing him and you just don't know where you stand and you just hanged on in there? More times I want to hang on. I, mm. Like, I like to know mm. what's, what the situation is. Mm. Like, I mean, when I was younger, probably like more easier to hang on because mm -hmm. you don't want to have these conversations. But now, I basically don't like my time wasting, so I need to at least yeah. know what's going on. If there's something I have a concern about, I just want to live it in the bud straight away. Yeah, you just, you just want to know. Yeah. For example, if a guy was like in a casual relationship with a girl, yeah. so there's no commitment, we're casual, we're friends, <laughs> friend zones, you spoke yeah. about it and everything. The girl starts getting like more attached. Who should be the one to stop that relationship? You don't have to stop it straight away. I think the girl would have to be open and honest that, okay, I like you a bit more than friends. Mm. They both agreed, like, look, this is not serious. We're just going to do this. Yeah. We respect each other. Boom. And then she starts getting feelings. Yeah. And the guy can see that she's getting feelings. Yeah. Do you think it's bad of the guy if he just keeps on seeing her? Because he's like, um, well, I've told her already. We've already spoke about this. Yeah. What do you think? No, I, I don't want to say it's bad on the guy because if they've already had that conversation then you should think that it's okay. Mm. But I think you know when someone likes you. Mm. So if you know that someone likes you a bit more than like you intended then I would say like be the bigger person and just step back. So the guy should be the bigger person and step I back think he should, rather yeah. than the woman the being girl, like... No, but the, it's the girl's responsibility as well to say something. Mm, mm. But if, even if the girl's not saying something and you know that she likes you, you should like act accordingly and back off. I yeah. Think. So guys, if you know that that situation is going on, you should be the one to take responsibility. Because we might be, we're just, we're in love. We're in lovey-dovey land and sometimes we can't think straight. To do the right thing and stop messing around with us, basically. <laughs> I know although you're in a relationship, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Did he met <laughs> Just saying so you can yeah, answer yeah, questions, you know what I mean? Like, you know them ones that have been in a relationship for time and you feel like you messed with their relationship, it's like, this is just fresh, yeah. I can still dabble. <laughs> Did he make a first move on you? What do you mean? Did like, he talk to me first? Yeah, yeah. 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 What if he didn't? Do you know what, if he didn't, I don't think I would have approached him, but not so you but could only be, because... You'd be single right now, my, yeah, my thing would have been right. Yeah, yeah. because I, I, don't, I didn't actually notice him. Really? Yeah, it was quite busy, but I didn't notice him. Do you approach guys at all, in general? 
I do. You do? <laughs> like my last boyfriend, I spoke to him first. Did you? it worked, so. How, 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 did, how did you go about that? Um, I just, I just said like the cringiest thing. <laughs> go on, what did you say? Because we were like on a plane and he sat next to me. So, um, you know when you're on a plane, your ears go quite funny. Yeah. So I asked him like, does he fly much? <laughs> <laughs> only, because I wanted, only because I wanted to ask him, like, have your, have your ears gone weird? Because that was the first time I'd mm. been on like a plane, like, in a while. Mm. So I was like, is this normal? Mm. But obviously, he was also quite attractive, so it was a bit of a yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, like, yeah. But like, yeah, he he continued the conversation after that. So where were you on the plane to? I was coming back from Amsterdam. Met a random stranger on the plane. Did you have yeah. communication before? No. Just on the plane, and then he became your boyfriend. Yeah. For how long? <laughs> It's like just over a year and a half. Wow. Good on you, girl. Have you done any more like approaching in general? Um, if I see someone I like, it depends on the setting. Mm. Like if I'm confident enough, I will say something to them. I might mm. not be like, hi, I like you, mm. but like I'll start a conversation. Yeah, so you will not let a good guy slip by. Like I'll try hard not to, it depends. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. Do you think that's how it's meant to be or is that just what you do? Would you prefer a guy to come to you or do you be like, do you know what, I don't care, I'll, I'll, I'll do the approaching or he can do the approaching or I don't really care as long as it gets done? Yeah, I don't think there's no set way. I would prefer if someone approached me. Yeah. It needs to be like, maybe I've looked at you for a bit longer than a normal person. So you yeah, so you got, the, you got the green light. The, yeah. green light. <laughs> the guys, you know if we're giving you the green light, yeah? We just, you just know. If a girl's not giving you signals like, mm, yeah, you just know. But when we're giving you the go, you kind of just yeah. know. Because we are doing it intentionally. We're like, please come and talk to me. Green light, go. So you're happy to make the first move then? Yeah, I don't mind. Obviously go on, go on girl, getting guys on trains, making first moves. I quite like it, it feels like. I feel a bit more in control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about rejection? What about if you rejected you? What would I do? Mm, how would you feel? What would you do? I don't know. It also so it hasn't happened, obviously. No. <laughs> She's got but it like that. at the that. same time, like, I'm not going to approach someone who I think is not going to respond to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't, you only go if you're sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So we could probably still miss a couple of guys because we're not sure. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I remember I was, to be fair, I wasn't single at this time, but I was. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, I was, exclusive. when I was out, I saw someone that was like really attractive. Mm. But like, he was a footballer, I so said, I'm not going to go and approach mm. you and just say hi. Yeah, <laughs> because you just assume that they've got loads of girls, but then they could be looking for that nice, Sweet, nice pole dancing girl like you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You never know. You know there's some guys who've got multiple girlfriends or two wives. What do you think about that? Um, obviously, people grow up in different like cultures. You know, mm -hmm. like some African cultures, it's like normal to have loads of wives. Yeah. So I'm not ever gonna say like it's wrong. Mm. But the way I've grown up in my household, I would prefer to just be one person. Yeah. And be exclusive for that one person. Like I wanna get married and be with that one person. Yeah. Let's just imagine that you really, really liked him, but he already had a wife. Mm -hmm. But you re I'm not saying just like, oh look at him, he's nice, kinda of liked him. You just built this deeper connection, he's being yeah, open. Why have and I he's been he was being open and honest with you, like, look, I this is what I practice, this is my religion yeah. and I have a vacancy. <laughs> No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever get that close to someone that's married. You wouldn't, no. you wouldn't, you wouldn't. What about if you got close and he didn't tell you and then he told you he has a vacancy then I'll go. and then right. it's their policy though and then the other <laughs> wife is like, mean. come on, it's no. fine, there's nothing at the end, do you know what I mean? No. And it was really deep, you really, really liked him. It's not happening. So, I'll, the, I'll, I'll okay, so like, what about the guy that you're with now? If you found out that he had another wife, and obviously he's I'll waiting go. to get close to you before he told you, happening. so you dump him. Not, no. Yeah. I can get jealous, mm. and I love attention. Yes. But I'll die about, without attention. I, so. High five, <laughs> girl. I agree. You have got to put it out there. A lot of us do. Can you just get that, guys? Understand, we just like it. Why not? Just I'll give it to us. Like it. Yeah. So if I don't get like 100%, mm. it's just sad. Have you been sexually active? You've been very active. <laughs> What's that mean? With the guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like with yeah. With your boyfriend. Yeah. Everything's healthy, fit and strong, fighting fit okay. down there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any toys been involved yet? No. No. You gonna bring them? No. You don't like toys? Honestly, I don't like them. I 
he first of all would like never why it just wouldn't happen you wouldn't want a toy no. <laughs> no but i also feel like i don't really need them so do you think if you need a toy you got a problem i don't think you have a problem i feel like there's so much you can do with one person with another person that you mm. don't really need a toy i always thought like toys are if you want to do something by yourself why you had them by yourself huh you had <laughs> Huh? You know that huh? It's like, you heard me, girl! <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've had toys by yourself? Yeah. Not with a partner? No. And then you got a partner and you're like, don't need this anymore, or you just go to the bottom of the drawer? No, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> What's a toy? Like a handcuff, blindfold? Yeah, thing. like vibrators, bullets. The thing is with me, like with my partners, I, I got introduced to toys by my partners. Mm. So then I'm the opposite way around. Like by myself, I'm like, oh, this is boring. Because yeah. nobody's here to like watch me, have fun or play with it with me. Or it's a toy, I yeah. want to play. Like <laughs> by myself, I'm like, I, I don't I don't know this by myself. But that's because of the way I was introduced to toys. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So. I will automatically think, well, you play with it together. Yeah. But then a lot of people are like, well, obviously it's for me by myself. Mm. Do you know That's what I mean? I feel, yeah. yeah. You still got yours or? No. 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 Did you throw it away? I, I moved house. Okay. And I just don't know where it went. Oh, you lost it. What did you have? A vibrator. Oh, was it a good one? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Rabbit or? It looks like a lipstick. Oh, okay. So then, you know when you pull up a lipstick, like yeah. you pull it to a certain point, yeah. that's when it obviously goes on. Oh, oh a, little, a little cute one, was it yeah. in your bag? Well, you, I mean, you could have it in your, I, I never did Did you ever pop it out? Oh, I'm going to say, did you ever pop it out some no, random no. places, like just no. in the toilet work? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No. So do you think you'll be getting any, any more anytime soon? No, I've not really thought about it. No, anything else? No. No handcuffs. I mean, yeah, I've had handcuffs. Fifty shades. Um, yeah. I mean, I had a bit. I don't know if we ever used it. Mm. We used like blindfolds. Yeah, blindfolds like in like during sex or foreplay or what? I'm nosy. I want to know. <laughs> I, I, I like inspiration. Like, Who's gonna watch this, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mom, turn away now. Please look away now, Mom. <laughs> um, yeah, it, during both. Mm. Like, <laughs> Do you think it spices it up, jazzes it up a bit? Um, I guess it does. It adds a bit of like fun, I guess. Yeah. Depending on who you're with. As to whether... It doesn't really matter mm -hmm. whether you use it or whether you don't. Cuddles with love or sex with a buff ting? Girl, the world is <laughs> fucking ending. We ain't got all day. Sex with a buff ting. Okay, brains or beauty? Brains. Skinny or fat? Morning, night, or midday sex? Morning. Cuddles or kisses? Kisses. Netflix and chill or date night? Date night. Whoop, 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 guys, there we have it. It's dummy.